Subject to the provisions of this constitution, governments may borrow from any source. B. Government shall not borrow or guarantee or raise a loan on behalf of itself or any other public institution, authority or person, except as authorized by or under the Act of Parliament. I'm interested in three. An Act of Parliament meant under Clause 2 of this article shall provide A, that the terms and conditions of the loan shall be laid before Parliament and shall not come into operation unless they've been approved by a resolution of Parliament. Right Honourable Speaker, the Minister has just stated that the terms are yet to be revised as per the advice of the Attorney General and is in, is in agreement with the, com, the, the, com, the majority report, which recommended and even questioned its sovereignty. Now, we cannot approve this loan because the purpose, as you stated, is clear. When we are passing the revenue side, we approved a 2.5 expenditure of budget support. On. Therefore, what is required of this House largely is to approve terms. We cannot approve a process of renegotiation. Therefore, as it stands now, the hands of this Parliament are tight because we cannot approve terms that are still being renegotiated, which is perfect before we even go very far. So it falls, we need to come here with the finality. And we look at these terms and say they are okay. Now, from a minority report and a majority report, they are agreement on some provisions of the terms, including the one that puts our sovereignty at hazard. And for me, that is very, very critical. And I would love the minister to concede that as we stand now, this loan cannot be approved because you cannot approve the terms that are still being negotiated. Right, Honorable Speaker. And that's a constitutional mandate. I've read the Constitution as is. Right, Honorable Speaker. The other argument being flying around, that government is stuck, is that there is no money to do work. I believe, Right, Honorable Speaker, this is blackmail of this parliament. They have just spent under 3%, 1.4 trillion in supplementary expenditure. And the minister, where this is honest, where have they spent the money? 89 billion given to Sudil to build a marina. They've just given 127 billion to Atiak. They've just spent 800 of our money on defense expenditure. They've just spent part of that money, 135 billion on classified expenditure under state house. So there is no scarcity of resources. There is wrong appropriation of the needs of the country. To say there is a crisis of liquidity in the country. They've just told us, URA has performed its target by 200 billion in this quarter. Therefore, that is not to be done. That's not the argument that they can fly and create an artificial crisis for wrongly first expending money on wrong things. Then they leave the fundamental and come to parliament and blackmail and stampede this parliament. It is high time we stopped this blackmail by making a very solid resolution to reject it. Right, Honorable Speaker, the other issue at hand, a very critical, right, Honorable Speaker, this loan, as it is, worldwide, there is no loan in the world today where 10% of the loan goes to an insurance. We all borrow money. We all pay insurance on our small loans. The loan fee is normally for insurance around between 1% and 2%. It can't be 10% of the loan. And, and right honorable speaker, for, from my perspective, where I stand, this is a poor deal, wrongly negotiated. The firewall to stop this lies with this parliament. We must raise the courage. Right. 
the strength uh -huh. of character right. to speak true to power, right. including yes. the executive, and tell them enough is enough.